Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our second film in our series in regard to how to create a, a ceiling, uh, an alternative ceiling to the typical flat ceiling, the level ceiling would be that we have been creating. So we created a couple different ceilings. We created a ceiling that was embedded into our existing roof structure, and then one that was uh, offset from that, a suspended ceiling, but still curved to our curved roof. So let's do this. So what we had problems with at the end of the last one was trying to make modifications to this. So we're here in our section view. If we were to take that uh, that ceiling, it got tripped up in this, by the way. If we were to take that ceiling and make modifications to it by clicking on that. It should give us our uh, edit profile. If we click on that, we get we get nothing. And uh, the reason for that, if we were to go to our ground floor or any of the, any of our floor plans and take a look at that section we're looking at. You can see that our section is actually looking out in this direction. It's not looking over here. And when we drew that roof, unlike a uh, roof by footprint, this one is done as a sketch, an extrusion, uh, existing off of one sketch. It's on this wall over here, so it's not really looking at that. So a couple different alternatives. I can get exit out of this and take go to that um, go to that section and actually change that section and make it look the other direction. But I already have a section looking in that direction. And I really don't want to take the, you know, the other alternatives, take that section and move it out here because then it kind of turns it into an elevation. What I really want to do is be able to look at it from the inside of the building so I can make adjustments to the ceiling in order to put it to the exterior, the inside portion of the exterior walls, if I can say that. So, let's do this. Let's go ahead and look at it at a different section. Let's look at it using this section, and we'll see that magenta line. So, section down here, it's the last one. Section north, south, looking west. There's our line. We're going to take our line, we're going to drag that to the to our wall. And we're going to drag it to this wall on the inside, so it's just on the inside of our exterior wall. And that should do it. Go to green chuck mark. Let's go back to our roof uh, level and take a look at that, see what that looks like. Yeah, so that, look, that looks fine to me. What we're missing here, actually, that's our floor plan. Let's look at it here. So this is actually going to show us our roof. So there's a couple additional modifications we need to make, and we'll save that for our fourth film. But um, you know, what we want to do probably is to take that ceiling and move it in on the inside of the wall. We're going to keep it on the outside of the wall because it's selectable the way it is. So, let me show you the dilemma here. And the dilemma here is that uh, Rabbit's not going to allow us to, hit, to hang a light fixture on a non-level roof. It can't be curved, and it's got to be on a level. It can't be sloped, so unless we actually make modifications to the light fixture, which we're not going to do. So even though this roof looks the same as this roof in here, where we have lights hanging on it because it's curved, it's not going to let us do it. So just to demonstrate that, if you're going to go to a component, well, let's go to our pendant light, and let's uh, pick that. So, you notice that it is allowing us, I may have said roof before, it's really ceiling, we're all talking about ceilings here, even though that uh, the ceiling we created here is actually a roof, if you remember that previous film, 